So we crossed the border, we made it to our campsite in this small little city up here along the northern Pacific coastal side of Costa Rica uh, in Liberia. And we spent a couple of days there doing some editing, just relaxing. It's looking like that's something we're always going to do after we cross a border. Need a couple of days of downtime to recuperate. But this morning we are running our last few errands. We are almost done. The only thing we have left to do is go get a SIM card so Kurt's phone will work in Costa Rica. And then we are headed to... Uh, the road just outside of town here that heads up towards a national park with some volcanoes and this road follows along a cool little river that goes in and out of a canyon kind of small like slot canyon stuff and there are several stops along the way and we're headed to the first one to see if they'll let us camp there and or at least check out the the views and the pools and that kind of stuff so sim card first and then let's go have some fun in costa rica Wow, that's like a marathon. But we're in Costa Rica, and so, you know, we gotta do all the stuff. And the first thing is the phone card. So that's been a little bit of a pain. I was in Movie Star trying to get that worked out. Here's the deal. The bad news is I didn't get two SIM cards for the other phone. The other bad news is $80 a month. The good news is it's unlimited on my phone. Unlimited data, unlimited everything, unlimited calls to the US. So I've got a total phone package. They don't throttle it, the phone at all. And I got 50 gigs of to use for the computer for tethering. So that doesn't affect the phone. So 50 gigs for uploading videos, watching YouTube, whatever we do on the computer, 50 gigs of that and total unlimited for the phone. It's super expensive, but not we're really. not chasing data anymore. Yeah. So So is that for the next three months? Uh, or we have to do this again in a, a month? I have a list of places that I can go pay, give them my account number, like grocery stores, yeah. banks, things like that. I just pay and then it renews by the month. So nice. that's monthly. Nice. So it's expensive. So yeah, no, but it's, no, we're not chasing it. We're, we probably spend that in there. We spend that just on different things, trying to get data. I mean, the biggest thing is uploading videos. Yeah. And so now we should be good. Yeah. So what I want to tell people is Movie Star is a cell phone company. There's several down here. There's Movie Star. Tigo, Claro, Colori or yeah, something. Kuroki. Yeah. So it'd be like Sprint. Uh, the Verizon, -Mobile. yeah, it's the same thing. But I knew they wouldn't know what Movie Star was if we didn't tell them. So Kurt yeah. just came out of the Movie Star store, not because he's a movie star, because no. <laughs> he got phone service. No, you guys well, good job, than that. good yeah. job. So here we go. Okay. We have pulled in to stop number one along this little road that follows this great little river that we've read so much about. This place is called Canyon de la Viaje, and we pulled here. Definitely is not advertised as a campground. It just, we were recommended to try this place. So we have pulled in, Kurt has gone inside to see if camping here is an option. And even if it is not, we're gonna walk down to the river cause we've heard they had a day pass where you can kind of hang out here. So he's gone inside to get the scoop. Me and the kitty cats, we're holding down the fort. All right. Welcome to Costa Rica. It is expensive here. And uh, I think we have a good deal here though. So here's the map. I watched the walked the facilities. So here's what we're gonna do. At 10 o'clock, we're gonna go tubing. So that's 45 minutes. So we're gonna meet right up here at this office. We walk up here, they take us up the river. It's about an hour and a half tube down the river. The restaurant is right here where they let out. So I have lunch reservations at noon. I get you the pork and the pineapple sauce, and of course, I got the fish. 
So we'll get here about 11.30, Maso Manos, and then you can walk here very close to the restaurant. I'll come up, pick up the truck, the van, and can come down here so when we're done with lunch, you can get in the van. We can park right over here. We have a day pool pass. So the pool, and I think there's a thermal pool too. I didn't see it, but he said they do have one on site. I think they're kind of down here. But in any event, so we have a day pass. We get to go tubing on this beautiful river and we get used to the pools and we get to park here for the night they have bathrooms, no showers, but we get to park here for the night for $35 a piece. So for $70 all in, it's expensive, but I think it can get worse in Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That includes our lunch though, right? Includes lunch and includes so, lunch. So two hour tubing tour, a day pass to the pool, lunch and a camp spot. It's expensive, but it's not horrible. Yeah, I mean, we've heard horror stories about Costa Rica. Obviously, guys, this is not stuff we're going to be able to do every day, but uh, it looks like fun. So we're going to indulge. Today. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's All right. the deal. Let's get ready to go tubing. All right. I don't know how the audio is going to be on this GoPro, but we are headed down to the river. Look at Snow carrying that big old tube. And you know she's got those hobbled up knees. She's been working hard on those things, and to be honest with you, she's been dropping some pounds. So hopefully we can get those things replaced and uh, get her back to normal pretty soon. So we're working hard on it. But meanwhile, today we're taking a break from it all. We're going to hop in this river and do some floating. Here, Kurt. See? Grow, grow it out of the side of the.
one's muy alto, which means it's very tall. And then he also says, if I flip, stand up. So here we go, this is the big one. But on that little uh, drop right there, snow got tossed out of the tube. So we are done with the tubing and that was a blast. We walk right up here to the restaurant and since it's COVID and there's uh, really not a lot of people here, we had to make a reservation and they knew what time we'd be here. So I'm having some sort of pineapple pork, Kurt got fish, he just went to get the van and bring it down here. They brought out a summer squash soup and a juice that is star fruit, papaya, and watermelon. Oh my, it is good. So, Kurt should be here any minute. I'm literally sitting here watching a group of zipliners that just came in right behind me. Well, we did it again, guys. I did manage to show you the soup and the juice before we dove into that, but this was a pineapple pork with some vegetables and beans and a salad salsa type thing. Kurt, what'd you have? I had fish. It's almost gone. It was delicious. The pumpkin soup is good as well. Yes, everything was yummy. But we're trying to get better at showing y'all our food because y'all keep asking us to. So there you go. There's our lunch. If there is something we need It's a leap of faith Step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run standing on your knees? It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and the moment to spare, it's a beautiful world. Tubin, tons of fun, done. Lunch, super yummy, done. Moved the van and we are headed to the pool for a little bit of relaxing, chilling out. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind the scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching 
and we'll see you guys in a few days.